Stay tuned and let's take a look at this Marvel Legends Conchu, Builder Figure Wave, Disney Plus, WandaVision, Agent, Jimmy Woo. Pow, and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember now you can hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today, we continue looking at the Marvel Legends, Conchu, Build-A-Figure Wave, Disney Plus, WandaVision, Agent, Jimmy Woo. Now, it is a little bit crazy that we're getting Jimmy Woo from WandaVision before we get characters like Monica Rambo or Agatha Harkness or even the twins, but I'll take it. It's a brand new character for our MCU collections, and you know me. It's all about world building, and I love adding new characters, even if it is just a civilian. But remember, Jimmy Woo did debut in the second Ant-Man movie, so he's technically been around a little bit longer than WandaVision, and I assume he's going to have a role to play in the third Ant-Man movie and moving forward. So happy to have him as part of the collection. Now the figure itself understandably is just a civilian. It's not going to be the most exciting action figure. As I said, it's just a new character for the collection. Uh, so here he is, the digital render on the front with the WandaVision logo. On the side, another picture of Jimmy Woo with the WandaVision static. On the back of the box, a digital render showing you what accessories for the Conchie Builder figure he comes with, an uh, arm um, and a staff. And then his only accessory is an interchangeable hand with his little magic card FBI trick. So uh, there you go, it's there. No wave association, but we do get on the side of the box a list of all the figures you will need to build the Conchu Builder figure. Today we're looking at number one, Jimmy Woo. So uh, yeah, it is what it is here, people. You know what you're getting yourself in for. It's a suited body Marvel legend uh, of a new character. So uh, let's get them open. Here we have Jimmy Woo out of the here we have Jimmy Woo out of the packaging with all of his accessories, which, as I said, are not really a lot because it's just a hand, but he does come with this massive staff for the Conchu Builder figure. So I'm looking forward to building him. So you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel and we will build and review the Conchu Builder figure very, very soon. But let me move them out of the way. We get a hand arm as well. So now we're just left with Jimmy Woo. And as I said, his only accessory is that hand with the FBI card. So it is on a suited body, which I'm not going to lie is a pain in the ass to stand uh, it took me a few times uh, off camera to get him balancing for a while and I am scared to like sneeze or breathe in the vicinity so uh, let's uh, waste no time and zoom in Starting up top with the likeness to the actor Randall Park, I believe. Now, first glance, I can definitely see the actor in there. If you showed me this action figure, I'd say, oh, that look, looks like Randall Park because it is meant to. So they're using the digital face printing tech. Overall, I think they've done a decent job. Now, is it perfect? Probably not. I'm sure some people may be a little bit more critical, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, I will throw up a side by side and you can tell me yourself in the comments below. Do you think this has good likeness to the actor? Randall Park, always curious. But uh, for me, I don't think it's too bad at all. Uh, let me look from certain angles. There you go. He's got a little smirk on his face as well. But look at that angle there. Like, you can't say it doesn't. So, uh, yeah, I do think that they nailed the face printing tech these days. Um, nine times out of ten. So... Yeah, that's pretty good. Liking that. Um, and in regards to the rest of the outfit, it is the standard suited body with a new jacket. I don't think we've seen this jacket before, uh, but it's a green jacket with the regular Marvel Legends uh, suited base body. Now, this is like the original one without the gun holsters attached to it. Um, he's got the black tie and this FBI badge is a separate piece. So uh, it doesn't really count as an accessory, but it is a separate piece that you can take off the figure. And now any of your Marvel Legends can become an FBI agent, I guess. Maybe Hellfire Hank wants to join the force. Uh, but let me put that back on. There we go. Um, so, uh, again, these suited bodies definitely need an update. He has got pinless arms, though, because these are new arms to go along with the jacket. So the arms will go out to 90, and we've got a decent double joint on there. And again, pinless, double-jointed elbows. So not a bad thing. But he is on the standard sort of... Uh, janky legs now these suited body legs are terrible these shoes are terrible uh, they sort of stick together and it's just really hard to balance and you've got to distribute the weight like it is a pain in the ass on the shelf more times than not my suited bodies are have to be leaned up against other legends just to keep them upright on a shelf um but uh there you go it is what it is so new arms updated arms the old legs black uh shoes black trousers uh, all the way up to the white shirt with a black tie uh, i like the little bit of gold on the fbi badge with the silver 
uh, gives it a little bit of contrast against the green jacket and you have got all the buttons of the green jacket punched in there as well so yeah basically a suited body with a new green jacket of Randall Park aka Agent Jimmy Woo. The two hands on the figure out of the box we've seen many times before with these suited bodies we've just got sort of one open palm hand and then the other hand is actually a trigger finger hand but we do not have a gun for him to hold so you're gonna have to find yourself a gun but that is a trigger finger hand. Uh, now his only accessory is an interchangeable left hand with his FBI card. Abracadabra and if by magic there it is. So he is holding his little FBI card which is of course a callback to the close-up magic he learnt in the Ant-Man movie and then he introduced himself to Monica Rambo at the start of WandaVision using that trick. So it was a nice little callback if you're paying attention to the little details uh, which I do appreciate from the MCU. Now I'm going to try and zoom in here uh, to see if we actually get uh, any words now it's probably not going to focus for me but uh again maybe maybe you can see it on there there's definitely words written on there but uh again it's a bit blurry for me but uh <laughs> even still there's a little bit of detail on the fbi card and it's a nice little callback uh, a nice little easter egg that you can just hold on the shelf for sure and it makes them a little bit more interesting to stay, uh, look at as well and as I mentioned, he doesn't come with a gun, but he does have a working trigger finger hand if you wanted him to carry a weapon. I've stole this one from Yolanda Belova, so it's a little bit undersized to be fair, uh, but it definitely works for a display. Here we have Jimmy compared to the only other figures we have gotten from WandaVision so far. And it's crazy to think that considering WandaVision with the very first MCU Oh, for God's sake. That's the type of stuff that happens. I'm not even going to edit that out because that's how annoying these suited bodies are. But uh, it is crazy to think that considering that WandaVision was the very first MCU Disney Plus show, we've only gotten three figures from that TV show. And again, I admit myself that Jimmy Woo wasn't exactly the main guy. I can't believe we've got him in front of Monica Rambeau and in front of Agatha Harkness. I do think they are coming because of the Marvels and the Agatha Harkness show. However... It's still a curious decision, maybe because it was easier to do because it's a suited body and there's less less newness to make. I don't know, but I'm not mad to add Jimmy. You know me. I like world building, so I'm happy to add new characters to the collection. And let's be honest, the guy was wearing a suit, so... Uh, it looks pretty good to me. Now these look pretty good together. So here we have Jimmy Woo compared to Louise and Scott Lang from Ant-Man, of course. Now Jimmy Woo didn't debut until the second Ant-Man movie, I don't think. So technically that's the first Ant-Man, but you get the point I'm trying to make here. Jimmy Woo debuted in the MCU before WandaVision. So he's worthy of a spot in the collection, but it's just those damn suited body legs. We need an update. I don't know why I'm torturing myself. This has been the hardest comparison segment I've ever had to do. These damn suited bodies just will not stand, uh, as you can see by that example. But there we had Jimmy Woo compared to two other Phase 4 characters in suited trouser legs. And yeah, again, we need a new pinless update on these trouser legs and some shoes that can actually stand, please. Here we have Jimmy Woo compared to two What If Zombies that I've already reviewed on the channel with Scarlet Witch and Iron Man. Again, I've genuinely given up at this point. Here we have Jimmy Woo compared to Howard the Duck and the What If Red School. Go and check out my review for both of these on the channel now. And here we have Jimmy Woo compared to Frogman, who is actually helping him stand up there, so I appreciate that. Uh, and also Tigra and White Rabbit. And then last, but of course, never least, here we have Captain Britain and Bomb Bastic Hank. To be fair, Cat Britain could have just waited and Jimmy would have fell over himself because of those stupid legs. But here we are at Final Thoughts for this Marvel Legends Conchu Builder Figure Disney Plus WandaVision Agent Jimmy Woo. Now, if you're here to moan about character selection, then you are in the wrong place because I will take each and every one of these civilian characters from the MCU in plastic form. Yes, they're not as fun, as exciting as the superheroes, but it's still a unique character to add to our collection. You know me, I love world building and Jimmy Woo wasn't just in WandaVision. He was in Ant-Man. I'm sure he'll be in the new one and maybe future projects as well. I don't know, but I like the actor Randall part and I'm happy to have him in figure form for the collection. I actually think the likeness is pretty good. Not the best that I've seen, 
but it's pretty good. Uh, they have updated the arms on the jacket. I like the FBI badge and I like the little gimmick with the uh, FBI card in his hand. It's a nice little wink and nod to the people that know. Uh, but again, the biggest frustration with this figure is those darn suited body legs. Will we see the back of them? I don't know. I do hope to get an update eventually. As always, you let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you in for Jimmy Woo? Are you world building like me? Or is this a character you can definitely skip? What do you think of the likeness? I'm always curious to hear your thoughts. Let me know. And if you like Marvel Legends, then um, uh, you're in the right place. Check out the videos tab, find the playlist, but most importantly, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Hit all on the notification bell. Don't miss out on a video. And please hit that join button. Become a channel member. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. You can follow me on Instagram at It's Dan Who. And I'm on Twitter as well. Tweet me. Don't be shy at Dan Who Reviews. And until then, people, my name is Dan W. And all, of course, see you on the next one. And yes, I had to glue tack his feet to my rotating base because there's no way he would have stayed up and spun around those damn legs. <laughs>